turn on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for namdekano's u.s lawyer drags buhari malami to congress demand heavy sanction talking about the current issue now the most trending the most deliberated and the most discussed in the polity talking about the release of onyendo and the subsequent refusal of Muhammad Buhari Buhari government, you know, to adhere to the court directive or order. You see, so Bruce friend is not living a distance unturned. All right? He's, you know, making frantic moves to make sure that this uh, government, adamant government, complies to this order. That is it. So this time around, he has dragged them to the U.S. Congress, United States Congress, recommend, telling the, the Congress to recommend to the President of the United States, Joe Biden, to impose sanctions against Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abba Kamalami, for their gross violations of internationally recognized human rights against Onyendo Mazinamdekano including the kidnapping, the torture, and prolonged arbitrary detention, to retaliate for exercising internationally recognized rights to freedom of expression and association. The letter was captioned, Re Global Magnitsky Human Rights Accountability Act. Yes, I repeat, Re Global Magnitsky Human Rights Accountability Act. That's what, that's the title of the letter. So I have to read out the letter now. It's very important for our own Perusia and understanding. I quote now. I represent Biafan leader Namde Kano. Mr. Kano has been illegally detained in solitary confinement in cramped quarters for 16 months without adequate access to needed medical care or to counsel by Nigeria State Security Services. Controlled by President Muhammad Buhari and Attorney General Abu Kamalami, Mr. Kano's detention followed his kidnapping, torture, and extraordinary rendition from Kenya in June 2021 to be retaliate for advocating a Biafran independence referendum modeled on the United States Broker 2011 referendum for South Sudan. Mr. Kano opposes the use of force, with the sole exception of self defense. On July 20, 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued an opinion finding Namde Kano's detention in violation of 16 international human rights guarantees. The opinion ordered his immediate and unconditional release. Opinion, paragraph 107. He directed us to see the attached attachment A. Now, President Buhari and Attorney General Malami have ignored the directive for nearly three months with no indication that compliance will ever be forthcoming. In January 2022, following the extraordinary rendition of Mr. Kano, a Nigerian High Court judgment impliedly ex exonerated him from the Nigerian government's Orwellian claim that he had jumped bail in evading his notorious attempted assassination. On October 13, 2022, the Court of Appeal of Nigeria Abuja the Judicial Division Holding at Abuja decreed that Nigeria's detention of Mr. Kano was illegal because of his extraordinary rendition from Kenya in violation of international and state laws. He also directed us to attachment B. All right, the court ordered dismissal of all charges against him. Again, President Buhari and Attorney General Malabi have flouted the court's orders and kept Namde Kano illegally detained. The opinions of the working group on arbitrary detention at the Court of Appeals of Nigeria speak for themselves they are crystal clear accordingly i would respectively urge you individually and collectively to recommend to president joe biden that he impose sanctions against president buhari and attorney general malami for gross violations of mr Kano's internationally recognized human rights under the global magnitsky human rights accountability act 22 usc 2656 note the sanctions should include ineligibility for a visa to enter the United States and blocking of all transactions and properties of Mr. Buhari and Mr. Malami in the United States. What Nigeria has done to Mr. Kano is indistinguishable from Russian President Vladimir Putin, Chinese President Xi Jinping and Saudi Arabian Prime Minister 
Mohammed bin Salman, sending talks abroad to poison, murder, torture, silence, and intimidate dissidents to their dictatorial regimes. They are a threat to international peace and security and subvert the rule based international order championed by the United States. To permit President Buhari and Attorney General Malami's thuggery to escape with impunity would be unacceptable. And end of quote. This is the letter I've just read now for our own clarification and more understanding into what uh, the, the, the US lawyer to Onyendu is doing. Okay, so this is wonderful. All right, so the 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 the, the Ma Ma lawyer is uh, demanding for sanctions, and he, like I said, these sanctions include denial for visa. Denial. These people should not enter the U.S. You know, they are about you know, uh, the administration is about winding up. This is the twilight of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari Buhari. You know, and so the U.S. lawyer is asking the Congress. You know, to prevail on the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, to sanction these two government officials of Nigeria. The President, Mbuhari Mbuhari, and his, uh, you know, the um, Attorney General of the Federation, Abba Kamalami, who is de facto President of the country, you know, who is acting recklessly. So he said that he, they should be sanctioned. They should be sanctioned. They should not be a granted visa to the U.S. And the, the U.S. should block all transactions and properties of this, of the duo of Buhari and Malami. You've seen it. So, Bush friend is doing wonderfully well. Yes, that's what it means. So, and uh, we encourage him more to do more. But uh, these people, they have seen that there's no escape route. Who have been saying it? Who have said it for the umpteen time? Look, there will be no escape route. There will be no escape route. I've told you people, those who are in the PDP, those who are in the APC, those who are moving around campaigning for, you know, the jihadist people, the Fulani people, those who are saying vote for me, vote for me from plate to post, that look, all these things people are doing, you see, it amounts to efforts and fertility. Because the government of the day is not going to be different as the government that is coming. Yes, the full animal is going out. The PD people are saying full animal should come in. The APC is saying another Muslim should go and take over. You know, a miloko. And so, what Bruce Friend is doing is to enable the Biafrans, you know, leave this contraption. He's not living any, not just for the for the for the release of Onyendu, but for the ultimate realization of the freedom of Biafrans. That's what Bruce Wayne is doing. That's what this U.S. lawyer is doing. Yes, not just only for the freedom of Onyendu. He's making case for our freedom, and that's why we're encouraging him more and more. Yes, we we'll have a good case. Onyendu is pursuing a referendum, pursuing freedom of his people in a non-violent way only for self-defense if there if there will be anything like arms